Hi, Derek here from Crua. Behind me, you can see the Crua Air, and I'm just going to run through the steps to set it up just to show you how easy it actually is. So now the roof tent is up on the roof, as you can see. Just a note, um, this is designed to go up on most roof systems, most roof rails, but you do have to check the dynamic and the static weight load limits on your particular roof system. The Crua Air attaches to the roof system via the crossbars. So there are four clamps um, on each of the four corners, and the clamps in turn are attached via bolt, nut, and washers. So it's a very simple hand tightening system and that hand tightening system is actually also adjustable so that it can adapt to your roof bars. So the bolts very simply fit through the slot and then are adjustable up and down along the rail which makes it adaptable to any suitable roof system. Once you find the correct positioning for the bolts on all four corners, you simply put them through the clamp and hand tighten the fasteners. So now you've arrived at your site, the very first step in setting up the crew air is to take off the cover. Now that's very simply done, you just undo all of the buckles and remove the cover itself. So now that we've pulled the cover across, you'll notice that there's a bead that actually keeps the cover secure on the hinged side of the tent. That comes out by just pulling it through the rail very simply. So now that we have the cover off, the very next step is to undo these buckles that are holding the ends of the ladder in place. Once the buckles are undone, you simply pull out the ladder by its ends and that in turn will pull the tent itself. So now we've popped the tent up, the next step is to adjust the ladder. First of all, from an angle perspective, make sure it's at the right angle for, for safety reasons. But also, because the ladder is adjustable, these rungs move. So you need to make sure that they're locked in place safely. So once your ladder is in place, the next step is to insert these two support poles into the front corners of the base. They simply fit into the grommet at the top and secure at the bottom. So now once you have the ladder set up and your corner supports in place, the next step is to set up the porch. And that's very simply done. You just catch the front porch pole, pull it forward, and then you use similar button mechanisms on each corner to fix the height That's that done. And then the last thing is to put this horizontal porch pole in place. After fixing in the horizontal pole on both sides, you can adjust it in the middle to make sure that the porch is kept neatly in place. Simply close up your zip securely. The Crua Air comes with two detachable boot bags, which are really handy for making sure you don't bring those muddy boots into the tent. And in here, you'll also find your toolkit. So now that you've set up the Crua Air, you'll see the mattress naturally falls into place. It's a really comfortable mattress. And you'll see there's loads of window options in here. So you can set it up in here exactly as you want with as much or as little light as, as you wish. So each window, there's one at the back, one on either side, and obviously two skylights as well. And each window has three layers. So it has the outer layer, which is on the fly. It has the bug mesh in between, and it has an inner curtain as well. So again, you can set up the, the orientation as you wish. You can make sure that the windows are set up as you wish. Totally set up depending on your own requirements. We've also included lots of hooks in here for your lights, also some storage, and always remember, keep your vents open. So there you have it. I hope you can see how simple it is to put up the crew air. Now we're going to run through the opposite, how simple it is actually to take it down. And again, we're just reversing the steps that we've just done. So now when you're ready to pack the tent away, just a few pointers first of all. Um, I would close down all the curtains. It's just neater when you're actually packing down the tent, but I would leave the doors open at least somewhat because as the tent is um, pushed back on itself, you want the air to escape. So doors open a little, little at the least, but close down your curtains. Make sure you've taken everything out of the tent, obviously. Um, and the starting point really is your two buttons on either side to undo again and the center horizontal support pole we, we're going to release as well at this, this stage. So that comes out. You pull down your porch on either side. We'll come down a little bit first. Like that. So now once we're on the ground, the next step is to take away the two support poles from the front. So they just slip out very easily. We can collapse them down using the buttons. 
So now we're going to use the ladder to fold the tent back on itself. Again, like I said, the door slightly ajar just to let the air escape. So you can pick up the, the ladder. Now, the easiest way to close these is to, is to actually uh, lock them, some of them in place first before you push it over so you're not reaching across it once it's on the roof. So the, the top few rungs close it up. To push the tent back quite easily, back on itself and fold the tent backwards. Now, that's the actual mechanical part of the process. So we're going to go around the tent now and fold it in and just neatly uh, fold away all the material, make sure it's all hidden and put the cover on. So after tucking away all the material, nice and neatly all the way around, make sure that there's nothing still loose around the tent and we're ready to put on the cover. So when you're putting on the cover, the first step is to put the bead into the rail and this is on the hinge side. So we'll start feeding the bead into the rail on the hinge side and feed it right through carefully to the front and then we're going to push uh, or rather throw the cover over the top. So now once the bead is through, the last part of this step is just to throw the cover over the top of the tent. So now once we've thrown the cover over, we make sure it's fixed in all the four corners. And again, making sure that there's none of the tent coming out from underneath, none of the fabric. And the next step, or the final step really at this stage, is to fix all the buckles again, all the way around the tent and make sure that they're secure and that there's absolutely no air and nothing can get in underneath the cover. So now, once all the buckles are done and, and connected, there's a couple of checks that you should always do before hitting the road. First of all, go around the perimeter again and make sure that these are still nice and tight, that the webbing is actually nice and tight all the way around. You don't want anything flapping. And also, you should always check the fasteners that actually fasten the roof tent to the, roo to the rail itself or to the roof system, just to make sure they're nice and tight on all four corners again, and then you're ready to hit the road. So there you have it. The setup and takedown of the crew air, simple, easy and quick. I hope you got everything you needed from the video, but if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out at any time. We'd be glad to help. You.